Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? They were working a KitchenAid Pro mixer. And so this one, actually, it's got a lot. First this board went out and I replaced the board. And then we had excess slop here. So what happens is, if you got too much back and forth slop and too much back uh, this way slop, basically this, whatever, the, uh, the main mount here will wear out and it's worn out. So what I'm gonna do, rather than replace this whole thing, is what you have to do, because these are kind of like built in, these bushings, bearings are all built in. Um, this thing here, not, not much that you can do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take uh, hot glue and fill in these areas here, up near the top. And then I'm gonna use JV Weld uh, pretty much close the tolerances on the gap and so uh, yeah these bushings here go in there and basically this part here is just too worn out there's too much slop going this way and that way so I'm gonna try and fill in the slop a little bit with some JB weld and hopefully that'll work okay so you can see how I filled in the, uh, the main gaps and I had to make sure uh, I had a hot screwdriver with my little torch here and I kind of like made sure I had room for that bushing in there make sure this was relatively flat here so that brass bushing could set in there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slight uh, coat of epoxy over this to kind of hold it in place okay so here's the KitchenAid mixture we have some I just bought these new gears for it it's going to be this bevel, the front bevel, and whatever the main gear here. Let's take a look. <clears throat> okay, so that gear right there is shot, and we're going to replace that, and then we're going to re replace this top gear here. We need a, we need a snap, snap ring pliers for that. <clears throat> and you want to watch how this thing is mounted. Now this one, you can see that these are kind of oblong. These bushings are sort of oblong, and the, the rounded edge goes up. The rounded edge goes up, and then some of them will actually have a special bearing inside here. It's a special roller bearing right here. Some of them have them, and some of them don't. This one just has one single washer, and it's kind of tricky to line that back up sometimes but you want the rounded edge up the rounded edge up and <clears throat> there's a little bit of slop in this you can see there's slop in here and so basically that slop is normal you theoretically could put a brass washer in here to take up that slop which I'm going to be doing uh, in another uh, uh, repair but yeah that slop is somewhat normal here and so if you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347, Pacific Time. If you need any help with your repairs, I give phone advice for uh, $25. Thank you.